Hey and welcome to a new video. Today's video, I'm going to take you on a full day of eating. So every meal I eat, you'll be there and you get to see what I'm eating in a day. So I'm going to be trying eating about 2,500 calories today. That's about my cut weight. Over the last couple of days, we've done a little bit of traveling and a little bit of moving around going to different places. Obviously, coronavirus safe. Um, wearing masks and whatnot wear them we so i've been not necessarily sticking to my calories as much which is absolutely fine because you've got to enjoy life sometimes and sometimes your calories go up and sometimes they go down doesn't matter there's no need to stress about them but today i'm sticking directly to my calories and i'm going to show you exactly what i'm going to eat so let's go right okay so we're in the kitchen so start my day off with certain supplements and vitamins and stuff. So I have a 60 A to Z multivitamin, a vitamin C capsule, which you which you dissolve, that's the word. And then some mornings I will take some super greens. So I'm gonna take these and then I'll go back to you on the first minute of the day, breakfast. So, green boost and vitamin taken. I'm drinking this one at my breakfast. Um, and then I'll make myself a coffee in a minute. So, breakfast. I will have a bacon and egg bagel with some spinach. So, I use these lean bacon medallions. Two eggs, so I put these, just a handful of spinach, and one bagel. So, I'll put all the calories and macros on the screen now. So you can see exactly what I'm eating and I'll put it into my fitness bar so you can get the exact amount of each. Just so you can see that and if you're interested in that. Right, okay, so I've got my bacon, egg, and spinach bagel here. I've still got some of my vitamin C tablet to go. And I've also got my black coffee here. So I'm gonna eat this. Um, I've just worked it out on my fitness pal, and it is about 490 calories, just this, uh, with about 40 grams of protein in it, so that's quite good. So I'm gonna eat this up and I'll see you at the next meal. So we've had breakfast. I've uh, freshened up a bit and now we're about to work out. So I'm um, gonna have a banana, just as like a little pre-workout snack, because I'm feeling a little bit hungry just before I have lunch after I've worked out. So I'm about to work out. Today is leg day. Um, I don't have a lot of time. So I'm literally gonna put you in the corner, put you on a little bit of a time lapse, and I'm just gonna get on and do the workout. Um, so you get an idea of kind of what I'm doing on my leg days, and then I'll see you after for some lunch.
Right, okay, so I've finished my workout. So I have got a protein shake here, which is whey protein. It's got a scoop and a half in there. So in there, that's probably about 40, 35, 40 grams of protein-ish. Figure it out, put it on the screen. And then for lunch, I'm having mackerel. So I'll have all of this. And then I'll have, I'm gonna have some edit bean stir fry. Uh, I'm not gonna have all of this, I'm just gonna have some of it. I'm also gonna have an apple as well. That should fill me up. And if, if it doesn't, I'll just make something else as well. And I'll show you that. So calories and macros on the screen now for my lunch. And I'll see you later for the next meal. Okay, so it's about quarter to five. Um, a little bit hungry, but dinner is going to be going soon. Um, so I'm just going to have something little just to pass me by while I'm feeling a little bit peckish. Um, so I'm probably going to be having one or two of these, about eight, uh, eight to four calories. I might have a brownie one and a sort of caramel one, so I'll tell you all what. About 170 calories just for two of them, just to pass me through until dinner which I'm going to be starting about probably about an hour 45 minutes ish and that is turkey mints and like a fajita kit or some bedroom and stuff like that so yeah should all be very nice but I'm gonna have these now and add that to my total calories of the day see you at dinner so what we've got for dinner is a nacho fajita kit but to make it a little bit more healthy, I've put turkey mince in, which has 2% fat. I've also added some peppers and some onions in there. I'll probably add some more salad -y stuff when we actually get to put them in the wraps. Um, so this is what it looks like at the minute. Lovely cooking away there. I've got the wraps laid out already to put in. We've got some nachos to go in there as well. So it's not the healthiest thing for dinner, but I've put different things in it other than what it should have been to make it a little bit more healthier and a little bit more diet friendly do you want to say no it's not really a diet but yeah so I'll get back to you once they're done I'll put all the macros and calories on the screen now and yeah I'll see you later on when I round off the day probably have a little bit of pudding but yeah I'll see you then Okay, so that is dinner done. I've got about 250 calories left. Um, at the minute, I'm feeling pretty full. So I'm just gonna kind of rest it off for a little bit, um, sit down, maybe watch something, and then probably get a little bit of a snack um, in a little while. So I will see you then. Okay, so there we go. That is my full day of eating. Um, so as I said earlier, I've got about 250 calories left so i'm gonna treat myself tonight really to a couple of pancakes i may go slightly over on my calories but that's okay because you don't hit it perfect every day so yeah just a little bit of a breakdown of today breakfast is the same as what i normally have every day lunch i normally have instead of the mackerel i'll sometimes have chicken um i'll mix the veg up but decided today to go with mackerel only because I had some in the cupboard. Um, and that's kind of what I, I was feeling, I was feeling mackerel today over chicken. Um, the fajitas as well, aren't necessarily what we always go for. We mix dinner up obviously all of the time, um, but fajitas is what it was tonight. And I made them as healthy as I could. Um, the calories were a bit more on the high side than I thought they would be, but that's fine. Absolutely fine. and. Yeah, so that's kind of just like a rough day of what I eat. Obviously mixing up all the time. I always try and make sure my meals have high protein, um, a little bit of veg in them if I can. Um, and yeah, I try and reach my calories. And if I don't reach my calories or go over slightly, I always make sure my protein is reached. That just helps with the recovery of my muscles and building my muscle, obviously. But yeah, and also make sure I do get a good amount of carbs in because I do like having carbs in my diet. Some people don't, some people do, um, and I like having a little bit of carbs. I don't eat loads, um, as you can see, but I do like having a bit. Also, for example, pancakes. 
people would class it as a cheat meal. Um, I would also class it as a cheat meal. I don't really have a cheat day, to be honest. I try and eat as healthy as I can every day and treat myself if I feel like it. Sometimes I might treat myself to something little in the week on a random day. Uh, sometimes I don't. It just depends what my body wants and what my body needs. You can't deprive yourself of certain foods if that's what your body wants. Because sometimes you've just got to treat yourself. <laughs> you just got to. It doesn't affect my diet or physique too much. So I do treat myself a little bit sometimes. So that was a full day of eating and I hope you did enjoy it. Like and subscribe to see more videos like this. And I will be doing more like days in the life video. Kind of like what this one was. A little bit more of like a vloggy vibe. Because they are quite fun. I did kind of enjoy filming it. It was great fun. <laughs> um, so yeah. I will see you in the next one. See you in a bit.